Hi, I'm Jason Boone from PremiumBeat.com, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the power of working with layered Photoshop files in Adobe's Premiere Pro. I'll go over the various ways to import a Photoshop file into Premiere and take a look at some of the creative ways to use this feature through creating a simple animation. So let's get started. Now when you import a layered Photoshop file, you have a variety of different ways on how you can actually import the file into Premiere. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I already have a layered Photoshop file that I've prepared, and this is the famous Earthrise photo from one of the Apollo missions. Now I've isolated the various elements in this photograph. So I have three different elements that I've Photoshopped here. We have the Earth, the Moon, and then a simple black background. So now I want to show you the various ways we can get this into Premiere Pro. So now I'm back in Premiere and I'm going to go ahead and import this PSD file. So as soon as I import, I have the import layered file dialog box up here. So and in, in under import as we have four options, merge all layers, merge layers, individual layers and sequence. Now these top two ones are exactly what they sound like. If you merge all layers, you cannot select which layers to include. It simply merges all of your layers and will import them as one single two-dimensional file, still image file, which you can use. And if that's what you want to do, that's fine. In fact, let's go ahead and import that just so you can see. And you'll see here in our project panel, there we go, we have our image here. But that's not what we want. We want to show you how you can import the individual layers. And with merged layers, this simply allows you to pick and choose which layers you want to leave in or include, and it will merge those layers together into, once again, in a single image file. Okay, with individual layers, we can select which, which of these individual layers we want to import, and they will import as their own individual still image files. So if I keep these all selected and select OK, we can check our footage dimensions here, select whichever you'd like import these and you can see when we import individual layers it creates a bin here with each of our individual layers as still image files and our last let's go ahead and throw these in our graphics folder here and our last option here is sequence and once again as it sounds if we select sequence we have the choice to select which layers we'd like to include or which layers we'd like to leave out. And when we import this as a sequence, it's going to create a bin with all of the individual layers as well as a sequence. And it's going to instantly put each of our individual layers on their own track. Okay, so I've got my sequence here with all my Photoshop layers on their individual tracks. I've labeled them here. I want to show you how you can quickly create an animation. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these individual layers and I'm going to create the illusion of the earth actually rising. So, and I'll show you how quickly this can be done with some simple position keyframes. So we're going to have the moon just slightly, ever so slightly move down. Um, Let's move up actually, and we'll scale it up. It's about 115. Move our keyframes to the head and tail so that now our moon is moving down ever so slightly. Now let's have our earth take it down here. And we want it just kind of peeking up over the horizon of the moon here. So let's add a, key, a position keyframe. And we want our end location to be right about there. So let's move that to the end. And let's go to the beginning. And we want to take it down maybe right there. So you can see with four keyframes, I've already created some movement here with this still image of giving the illusion that the Earth is rising. But it's still looking a little bit hokey. So we can quickly add an effect to give you an illusion of some kind of depth of field. So let's throw a blur on the moon and crank that up to like 40. Yeah, let's do 40 and repeat edge P. 
pixels. And now right away you can see it looks like we have a quick, uh, you know, the moon is, or, or the earth is in focus and the moon might look like it's a little bit out of focus, like you were possibly shooting this with the camera. So you can see how quickly I did that. I mean, that took very, very little amount of time. And you've see, probably seen this effect a lot in uh, movies and documentaries and television where you will Photoshop out a person and then have the background moving and the person is moving in, in a different direction or it, it gives you a little bit of a 3D effect. It really brings a two-dimensional still image to life. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high-quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.